Hi everyone, it's Julian here from Rustic Journals. I hope everybody's doing well today. So I'm back to do part two of the patchwork journal using uh, the patchwork kit from Caroline's Musings Etsy shop. So I thought today I would make a piece of ephemera that's going to go inside the uh, journal and although I'm working with a patchwork kit this um, here is not part of that kit this is from um, one of the freebies on Caroline's Kofi page which I will link below it's worthwhile having a look at her Kofi shop because for just one dollar a month you get a subscription and you get freebies once a month and they are such beautiful freebies you get i'll actually show you what we got for the month of may um actually not that that's part of uh her pink backing pages um but this page here this is part of may freebies and it's it's a backing page and it's so pretty i love the lace print down the side here and then this one and this one so obviously um as i said last time it's caroline does a uh, mainly faith-based um digitals and things but even if you didn't want to make faith stuff as such you could still use this and this and this and just maybe not use the the faith bits i i personally like it all but i know not everybody uh might want the faith stuff but you can definitely use a lot of her stuff even if you don't want to use the faith parts of it i mean how pretty is this so yeah i just thought i would show you those as well so that's on her coffee shop uh right let's pop all this out of the way so i finally got the signatures back to back together um i got in a right pickle with them on the video the last time right so anyway let's see so this um instead of cutting it into two journal cards i'm going to make a little booklet with it so i have uh stitched around the edging and i have used that wallpaper book that i had um a page in that to cover the inside and then obviously it's got bits here that we'll need to cover up as well in fact i might do that first so i did look out some bits and pieces uh where was it now yeah so i thought this here i'm gonna stick on to the back cover i'm pretty sure this is from some of caroline's freebies as well i could be wrong about that because i did take this from my own stash but it probably was because most of my faith stuff i get from caroline I'll just quickly ink round the edge of it. Whoops. We actually had quite a warm day today for a change. The sun wasn't out, but it was warm. 20 degrees, I think it was, when I was out in the car. That's like tropical conditions for us here in the northeast of Scotland. <laughs> Oops, getting all my fingers again. Now, make sure I cover up that bit that says wallpaper. I think 
these bits here need a touch more glue. Put that down. I lift that up. That was a bit silly of me. <laughs> right, where's my white gone? There we are. Now that's better. Oh, there's some leaves here that are still. Needing some more glue. Is this one maybe ever so slightly on the edges there? Right, there we go. Where's my bit for the top of the glue? It's actually a vintage earring that I use for uh, for this because the pin that you get. I always end up losing it or breaking it or something. <laughs> right, so there we go. Now, uh, yes, I was going to put a cute pocket um, in the front cover here. Now, this is from another of Caroline's kits that I had from a while back. And I can't remember off the top of my head what the kit is called. But it's got some lovely, uh, you know, journal pages and ephemera and whatnot. And I will be making a journal with that kit at some point um, as well. But I will list all the all the papers of Caroline's that I use in this video. I shall list list below. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We need some ink around the edges. to the edge there so we've got plenty of room for putting in the signature I did make a tiny little uh, spine bit as well now I did have oh yeah that's right I am um... I printed off some of these um, words as well and I think I think this is called um, encouraging words or something like this and these are also on Caroline's Etsy page it's it's the same group of words but she's printed them um, well you know, set them out in different colours. Oh, and we've got this one as well. So I've just kind of, like, the, you would get them like this, but I've, um, I've cut them in half so that I can store them easier. So you, I think you get two to a page like this, and then you also get, like, one A4 sheet of paper that's got the words, um, like, but they're bigger, yeah. So you get quite a lot, um, you know, as part of it. So I think I'm going to use one of these words to pop onto here. Um, maybe nurture, since she's uh, looking after these little baby ducklings. Or maybe... Uh, Gentleness, maybe? No, nurture. We'll go with nurture. Right. Try and cut this out straight. Whenever I used to get, like, uh, labels, 
I used to always cut them all out individually, but then I find them, I find it hard to find the one you're looking for when they're all cut out individually. So I've started just keeping them on the sheet and then cutting them out as and when I need them. Off you pop. Right, there we go. Where did I put my ink? Here we are. Just gently do the edges. I don't want a lot of ink. Just enough to help it pop out on the page. Now, where do I want this though? That's the thing. Uh, maybe. Uh, kind of looks a bit lonely, just stuck there like that. Let me see. If we can get some lace or something. No, where's that bag that I had? Ah, here we are. Is it? Yeah. Right. Maybe a bit of this or something. Maybe a bit big. Take that bit off the end there and that will be fine. Right. Fabri tack is really good glue, but I always get into such a state with it. I get more on my fingers than anywhere else. Right, there we go. Yes, I like that now. Make sure it's stuck down well. Good. Right, while that's drying, we can make the label that's going to, or the tag, I should say, that's going to go inside it. So I've stitched on this already. It's like cheesecloth that I had, and I'd stamped heaps of different, um, well, actually, that, that faith stamps that you saw in the last video, um, I used each of them and stamped it all over the cheesecloth and then cut out the sections of it so i've taken one of them uh praying hands and i've just stitched that onto this tag and then i thought maybe this out of the patchwork um the patchwork kit this word would look nice on here and i should say as well this tag also came out from uh, came from the same kit that this pocket did but as I say, I'll list, uh, I'll list all of these ones below. Now, I'm not going to ink that because I like the blue. Right. Do we want that straight or at an angle, maybe? No. there and then the cheesecloth slightly goes over the word I like that there we are and then I took this out of my stash just a little um, lace cluster type thing 
and I thought that would look nice as a tab thing at the top here. Um, I'll keep that glue off just now because I'll be using it again in a second. Now I'm going to need the I'm going to need the fabric tack for this. I don't want to hide that flower too much either. Right. off some of that blue fabric yeah that's better I prefer it like that yep happy with that one now we can put that to the side to dry as well and I uh, I have this label this was um, part of another of her freebies that was on Kofi. If you like faith based stuff though, I would definitely have a look in our Kofi shop, Caroline's Kofi shop. Right, now the signature. So I've just put together some papers um, from my stash. This was a uh, paper that I had dyed with Easter egg dye. Um, a vintage hymn book, music book that I have. And again, Easter egg dyed papers and then this is just from a a blank music sheet book so we'll put them together and we shall stitch them into here I'll need some of my clips though and I'll just do this with a a three Three stitch, oh, I always get muddled up trying to say this. Three stitch, three, oh, I forget. The, the one with the three holes. <laughs> three hole pamphlet stitch, yes, that's it. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so hard to say. But I got all tongue twisted the last time I tried to say it as well. Right, make sure that's pushed right into the spine there. Mm -hmm. And then we'll clip that down like that. And I think I might just put one at the bottom as well. Just to hold that in place. I think those clips are a bit of an overkill with such a small boot clip, but it'll keep them in place. Oops. Right, put that glue thing back on. Now, where's my needles? Um, oops, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, now, where's the one that I use? I think, was it not this one? Yes. Oops. And I've 
just I've already cut to size a bit of waxed thread. Here we go, there we are. Right, now I'll need my pokey tool, my awl. And I'm just going to eyeball this again. It's just uh, a really small signature, so this paper might make it easier as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, kind of seven. So probably about here, I would say, would be half. Right. One and then down there, two, turn it around, and it'll be here. Yes, three. So we go in through the middle one first and then turn it over and we can go in the bottom one and then pull that through and then we're going to go right up to the top one here, pull that through and then we're going back in the middle again being careful not to get, um, you know, to split the thread that's already there. And then take that through and you want a piece of thread at this side of this string here and a piece at this side. And then you just gently pull it so it's nice and tight but not too tight. If you pull it too tight, the paper is likely to tear. But then you don't want it too slack because then the signature will slip about. So it's just a case of finding that happy medium. And then I just usually knot it um, two or three times. Oops. And this is quite thin wax thread, so with this one I'm going to do the three knots. And then if you wanted to, you could, you know, add some beads or whatever to the thread. Or tie it in a bow. Or simply just snip it off like this. Which is what I'm going to do this time. Right, pop my needle away because we don't want loose needles when we've got cats, well, a cat and a dog. Right, so I'm just going to have a quick look through the pages to make sure that they're all okay. And if you do find that uh, some of the bits are slightly tearing or, you you know, you think that it might tear, you can just use some washi tape and just, you know, or even cut out a little square of fabric and glue them over these bits. And that works perfectly well just to strengthen them up. Now, let's see if this is dry now. It does seem to be. Okay, so we can pop that in here. Oops. That's it. There we go. Now, that's quite cute, isn't it? I might um, go back at some point and... Uh, perhaps ink around the edges and maybe 
you know, put some embellishments or whatever on the planer pages. Even if it's just like something little in the corner or whatever. I just don't like seeing plain white pages. I don't know why. I just don't. But yeah, that's cute. I like that. And then this is popping out the top. And then I might need a little bit of lace down there just to cover the the uh, string. In fact, if I've got some at hand, I could just quickly do that just now. Uh want anything too wide that's the thing I wonder if I chopped down a bit of that sorry if I'm off the camera there I'll I'm just seeing how this would look yeah I think I will snip a bit of that off and just trim it down Right, so how did we say we would do it? Do I want those hairy kind of bits? No, I don't. Uh, like there. Right, and cut it down here, I think. Oops. I'll need to make sure that's glued down properly or that's just going to fray. Snip a bit off the bottom there. Now, let's see if that's going to be okay. Uh, maybe a little bit more cut off, I think. Not much. Right, that should do it. I won't get the fabric tack out again for this one. Is that even straight actually? No, it's not. Right. I'll just, I'll glue the, the booklet rather than the crocheted lace. That'll be easier. Now, let's see how we get on with that. Fine on this side and on this side. Uh, let's see how straight is that looking? Yeah, we're going to need some more glue in there, though. My hot glue gun would have been good for this. I need to start switching that on when uh, when I'm doing videos, I think. Right, what I'm going to do is clip that and clip
clip that just for a wee while till that dries and then pop it where can i put that now up there right one more thing i want to do well i have these to show you as well there it's just a few of them these um these are also on caroline's musings etsy shop these are the doilies I was speaking about in the last video and I'm going to use some of these in the patchwork journal as well. There's different sizes and there's, oh, I can't remember. There's a good few sheets, um, you know, as part of the kit uh, with different shapes, sizes, patterns, colours. There's so much... Uh, to choose from i don't think i've got them through here with me the rest of them and it's just a kit that's just it's just got doilies in it and again i will link that below no i don't have the rest through here with me but yeah um they're so pretty they're uh they take a while to fussy cut because they're so, you know, intricate round the edges and things. But the end result makes it all worthwhile, I think. So, yeah, um, pop them to the side. And then uh, these are on Caroline's Coffee Shop as part of the freebies when you have the subscription. There's all... Um, there's all sorts of different words, uh, faith words with like the definition and whatnot. Um, I can't remember how much you get, I think possibly two A4 sheets with them. Um, so I've printed, no, not printed, I've taken a couple of these out of my stash and I'm going to back them onto this, and they're just going to be little bits of ephemera that I'm going to pop inside the journal as well in a pocket or something like that so I will quickly do that just now this paper is so cool I got it from my local craft shop it's like an old sofa I think I have had this stuff out on a video that I've done in the past Right, so with, with it being backed onto this, it's obviously not going to be any good for uh, journaling on the back of, but I just thought it makes ni it'll make nice ephemera to go in the journal. And because the back of this is quite textured, I'm going to use my art glitter glue rather than a glue stick. Uh, white, here we go. I'm going to have to get some uh, videos going with this gardening journal. I've not done any more with that yet. <laughs> I'm just enjoying playing about with this patchwork kit at the minute. <laughs>
hear my dog creaking in the background. She must be wanted out. That's okay. Once I cut these two out, that will be the last few things to do on this video anyway. And then I will get her out. There we go. Now give them a quick ink round the edges and that will be that. It's all right, Flora, I'm just coming. Now, there we go. I think actually they might look nice with some stitching around the edge of these. But yeah, that's that. And where did I put the, the booklet? Yes, here's it. The clip should be okay to come off now. And I'll just quickly cut the excess stuff off here. Now, there we go. So that's the booklet that we made and the tag inside. And this, and this. Right, I think we will call that a video. I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you again, hopefully, on the next video. Okay, have a good day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.